Have you ever struggled with actually knowing God's plan for your life and wondering what's the difference between God's plan and maybe just your good ideas? And how do you know the difference? Well, we're going to talk about that today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. Have you ever wanted to have someone in your life who you could ask real questions about your art, your business, and even your walk with the Lord? Well, that's exactly what we do every Friday here on 5-Minute Mentoring, where I answer one question from one of my awesome podcast listeners in order to help you start really thriving as the artist you know God created you to be. Well, hey there. I'm so glad you're with me today on 5-Minute Mentoring. And listen, this uh, this whole concept of knowing God's plan for your life is huge <laughs> because if you don't know God's plan for your life, and believe me, I know because parentheses, this has been me for many years <laughs> before I started really understanding how the kingdom works. You know, if you don't know how God's created you, what he's created you for, then you really don't know where you're going in life. You're frustrated. You're wondering, why don't things ever work out? You're just kind of looking for things from here to there, trying to find something that'll work in your life. And, you know, I even found in my own life, and I see this with with artists as well, the faith that you had begins to wane and begins to really kind of leak out of your life. You begin to kind of doubt the kingdom design that God's put in your life again, because you don't really know who you are and what he's called you to do. And that just leads to really kind of two things, either being performance oriented in your life. That is just trying to be validated by what you do, or it leads to what a lot of folks deal with, which is just being completely paralyzed on the other side that, you know, because you don't know who you are, then you just feel like you can't do anything. And so you don't do anything and you just sit there paralyzed and, a month, a year, five years go by, and you're like, why am I not doing what I know that God's called me to do? Because if you don't have clarity with that, it can really be a source of frustration. Listen, I found in my own life that when I began to understand God's plan for my life, there was so much confidence that began to be birthed. Um, I began to have clear direction in my life and and really experience what I've called double doors of favor. It's kind of like there's this spirit birthed momentum that starts flowing in your life where everything that you've been looking for provision and favor and opportunities and resources and ideas and the grace to pursue all of that, all of a sudden, all of that begins to flow in your life in a beautiful way. Now, again, not like everything, you know, I never had another problem again. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that all of a sudden you begin to enter into a divine flow that God has set up for you before the very foundation of the earth. And that is huge. And so instead of being paralyzed or performance oriented in your life, you really are motivated by number one, love for the love for God, but also the purpose to pursue God's purpose for your life, to, to pursue God's kingdom and your design in that kingdom that becomes the motivating factors in your life. And that is absolutely huge. Listen, I did a a survey not too long ago on our Facebook group, The Thriving Christian Artists, and um, asking people, you know, what were some of their biggest issues out there? This, you know, knowing God's plan for your life and art, that was number one by far. (laughs) Because like I said, it kind of leaves people in frustration if if they don't have that. And so I want to give you three things today that are really, really key when it comes to understanding um, and kind of navigating the waters of beginning to understand God's plan for your life. Because when you get these, it really becomes, uh, again, a motivating factor and enabling factor in you being able to be who God's called you to be. All right. The first thing I would say is that you've got to start understanding how the kingdom of God works, specifically as it relates to how God speaks to you. See, one of the things I hear a lot in regard in terms of you know, is this God's plan for my life or is this not? You know, people are really confused with this whole thing of, well, is this just my good ideas or is this really God's plan? Like, it's this big, heavy God's plan, you know, for my life. And I would say this, listen, God created you with a purpose, all right, on purpose. He created you with a specific design. He created you with desires and feelings and emotions and dreams and and all of that. And as you are living your life, submitted to the Lordship of Jesus and walking with him on a daily basis, those dreams and desires and wishes and and visions and all that, that's continually 
percolating up in your life. And somehow we've gotten into the idea just through religion and through religiosity (laughs) that those things that are bubbling up out of our heart are somehow not the Lord. Well, listen, the Bible's very clear. God's desire is to give us the desires of our heart because the desires that are our, our, our heart as we're submitted to the Lordship of Jesus are actually the desires of his heart. See, we're continually evolving and growing into maturity in Jesus. And listen, the way the kingdom works is that God wants to release his nature through you and through me through your ideas, through your designs, through your artwork, through the expression of your life, through relationships. And you understand what I'm saying? This is huge. (laughs) Because if you think that the only way that you can serve God is to go be a missionary in the Congo or to serve on staff at your church, my friend, you are missing a huge part of how the kingdom works. So begin to explore those desires and dreams uh, that, that God's given you over the years, not discount them as, quote unquote, just my good ideas. All right. Number two, I would say, once you begin to do that, then you've got to start clarifying the vision because God gives you vision. He gives you a way forward. All right. A a, a goal, if you will, in your mind, a visual goal. He gives you that to inspire and motivate you to walk forward. See, there'll be times in your life when you're going through things and you're like, man, I don't know if I can make it or this is really hard or this situation has come up and I'm just not sure what to go, where to, you know, what to do or where to go. If you don't have vision for your life, that is, if you don't know the overarching purpose of who God's created you to be, you will get caught in the weeds. You will uh, be very frustrated and, and get back into that place of being paralyzed. So, clarifying that vision with the Lord is absolutely huge. And then number three, once you have that, writing it down and beginning to develop strategy around that. Again, not off by yourself, just, you know, trying to figure it out, but in concert of listening to the voice of the Lord. Because as you begin to get that vision and it becomes clear, you write it down, you begin to put strategy around it. That then becomes the standard by which everything in your life gets evaluated. The way you spend your money, the way you spend your time, the way you are creating art, the way you're building maybe your art business or ministry, all of that, all right, gets measured by who has God created me to be? What's my purpose in this earth? And how can I steward well the things that God has put in my life? Listen, once you begin to get these, you begin to understand how the kingdom works, clarify that vision, start writing it down and executing on the strategy that God gives you, things begin to change in a huge way in your life. Now, listen, this is five minute mentoring. And the whole purpose of it is to give you a thumbnail sketch, just a a quick jolt of inspiration and teaching to kind of help you on your way today. And whenever you're listening to this, If this is something, though, that you're really struggling with, this whole idea of, you know, I really want to know God's plan for my life, but I'm stuck, I've got a resource that'll help you. It's a little e-course, a little mini course that I did called Knowing God's Plan for Your Life in Art. Listen, it's three videos where I go deep on all these subjects. We actually give you worksheets, printable worksheets, to be able to print those out, walk through a, a processing with the Lord right out of God's Word so that you can begin to get real clarity on these three issues. And then at the end of that, come out with saying, hey, I know who God's called me to be. In addition to that, I went through a ton of questions, literally like over 500 questions in our Facebook group on a post that I did recently, all about knowing God's plan for your life in art. And I answered the top questions that were coming out of that. And, you know, There were literally over 500 questions, but as I looked at them, there were about 12 or 13 that were, you know, kind of the main questions that everybody was asking. Things like, how do you discern when it's, when, you know, things that you're hearing are clearly from God? How do you hear God's voice? What if the plan that I feel like God's showing me is overwhelming to me? Or what do I do like, you know, when I feel pressure from others to be something that maybe I don't feel like God's called me uh, to do, you know, or, or to be? Or, you know, what do I do when I know what God's created me to do, but I just don't do it? (laughs) And tons of other questions. Well, in the e-course, I actually answer all of those questions in depth and, again, help to bring real clarity 
to this issue for you. You can grab that. It's just 37 bucks. Uh, you can get it right here in the show notes if that's something that you would like, and it'll be a huge blessing in your life. Hundreds of artists have already purchased that. Um, we released it earlier this month in our Facebook group, and it's just been a it's been so much fun to hear the stories of transformation that are already happening just from the simple fact of learning to know God's plan for your life in art. So if that's something that'll be a blessing to you, grab it. Like I said, it's 37 bucks. You can watch it in an afternoon or you can watch it over and over and over. You get 24, seven, 365 lifetime access to it as long as you want. And um, it'll be a real blessing to you. All right. Well, hey, I love you. Join me again on 5-Minute Mentoring. And uh, listen, if you've got a question, we didn't do one today, but if you've got a question uh, that you'd like me to answer, you can go to my website at matttommymentoring.com forward slash podcast. You can actually record a voicemail for me. It'll send it directly to my personal email. I'll listen to it. And if it's something we think that that a lot of people would enjoy knowing the answer to, I'll put it on the podcast here on 5-Minute Mentoring and feature you on an upcoming episode. So definitely do that, all right? Also, make sure you subscribe and review the podcast. Do a little review on there. People uh, that really helps folks to understand that this podcast can be a blessing to them if they're an artist, and uh, that's that's our goal. That's my heart, is to, to help equip you and inspire you to be everything that God's called you to be in the kingdom, all right? Well, hey, I love you, and I'll see you next time here on the Thriving Christian Artist Podcast and five-minute mentoring. Bye.